One of the most captivating and hotly debated topics within this sacred text is the prophecy surrounding the 144,000 chosen ones who will be saved during the end times. At the heart of this prophecy are the four angels, mentioned in Revelations 7, 1 to 3, who are tasked with holding back the four winds of the earth until the 144,000 are sealed. This is a pivotal moment that will usher in the final tumultuous days before the return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of his millennial kingdom. But who are these 144,000 chosen ones? And how can one know if they are among this select group? After years of poring over scripture and analyzing the clues left by the Apostle John, I believe I have uncovered nine key signs that may indicate whether an individual is one of the 144,000. Before we delve into those signs, let's first examine the biblical foundation for this profound prophecy. The 144,000 Chosen Ones the book of Revelations contains several references to the 144,000 chosen ones who will be sealed and protected by God during the end times tribulation. The first mention comes in Revelations 7, 1, 8. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. Here we are introduced to the four angels who have been given the power to unleash the four winds of the earth, a cataclysmic event that will bring devastation to the land, sea and trees. However, before they are permitted to do so, another angel arrives with the seal of the living God. This angel commands the four angels to hold back the winds until the 144,000 servants of God have been sealed on their foreheads. The text then goes on to list the 12 tribes of Israel, with 12,000 individuals from each tribe being sealed, totaling 144,000. This is a critical moment in the end time sequence of events. The 144,000 are being set apart and protected by God, shielding them from the coming judgments that will soon ravage the earth. But why these particular individuals? What makes them so special? The 144,000 are described in more detail in Revelations 14, 1, 5. Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 who had his name and his Father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters and like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists, playing their harps, and they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as first fruits to God and the Lamb, no lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. Several key details emerge from this passage. The 144,000 have the name of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the name of the Father written on their foreheads, signifying their special relationship and dedication to God. They sing a new song that only they can learn, suggesting a unique spiritual gifting and connection to the divine. They have remained sexually pure, described as virgins who have not defiled themselves with women. They follow the Lamb, Jesus, wherever He goes, demonstrating unwavering devotion and obedience. They are described as first fruits, a biblical term referring to the first and best of the harvest dedicated to God. 
They are blameless, and no lie was found in their mouths, indicating a high level of righteousness and integrity. Taken together, these characteristics paint a picture of a truly set-apart, holy group of individuals who have been specially chosen and prepared by God for a pivotal role in the end times. But what is that role, exactly? The text suggests that the 144,000 will be protected and sealed by God, shielding them from the coming judgments. This aligns with the earlier passage about the four angels being commanded to hold back the four winds until the 144,000 have been sealed. So the 144,000 chosen ones will be supernaturally preserved through the tribulation period, emerging unscathed to fulfill their divinely appointed purpose. But what is that purpose? The Bible does not provide a definitive answer, but there are some clues. In Revelations 7.3, the angel commands the four angels to do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. This implies that the 144,000 have a crucial role to play in the end times events that are about to unfold. Additionally, in Revelations 14.4, the 144,000 are described as first fruits a term that suggests they may be the first wave of a larger harvest of souls for God's kingdom. Their preservation and protection could be so that they can minister to others and bring many to salvation during the tumultuous days ahead. Some scholars also believe the 144,000 may have a prophetic or evangelistic role, proclaiming the gospel message and calling people to repentance in the face of God's impending judgment. Their purity, integrity, and intimate relationship with the Lamb may empower them to be powerful witnesses for Christ. Ultimately, the exact nature of the 144,000's end times mission remains a mystery. But one thing is clear, they have been set apart by God for a special purpose, and their preservation during the tribulation period will be a crucial part of the unfolding of God's end times plan. Nine signs you may be one of the 144,000 chosen ones. Now that we have established the biblical foundation for the 144,000 chosen ones, let's examine the nine key signs that may indicate whether an individual is part of this select group. It's important to note that these are not definitive criteria. The ways of God are often mysterious, and He may choose individuals in ways that defy human understanding. However, these nine signs can serve as powerful indicators and provide insight into the type of person God may be preparing for this pivotal end times role. 9. A deep sense of calling and purpose. One of the defining characteristics of the 144,000 is their unwavering devotion and obedience to the Lamb, Jesus Christ. The text states that they follow the Lamb wherever He goes, suggesting an intimate, personal relationship with the Saviour. Similarly, those who may be called to be part of the 144,000 often report a deep, abiding sense of purpose and calling on their lives. They may feel a strong inner compulsion to serve God and His Kingdom, accompanied by a heightened spiritual sensitivity and awareness. This sense of divine purpose often manifests in a burning desire to draw closer to God, to study His Word, and to live a life of holiness and righteousness. There may also be a supernatural gifting or anointing that empowers them for God's work, whether it be in the realm of prophecy, evangelism, teaching, or some other spiritual ministry. Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will have a palpable, God-given conviction that they have been set apart for a special role in the end times. This drives them to pursue intimacy with the Lord and to live lives that are wholly devoted to His will. 8. Supernatural Protection and Preservation As we've seen, a key aspect of the 144,000 chosen ones is that they will be supernaturally protected and preserved during the tribulation period. The text states that the four angels were commanded to hold back the four winds of the earth 
to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree until the 144,000 had been sealed. Those who may be called to be part of the 144,000 may already be experiencing a tangible sense of God's supernatural protection and preservation in their lives. This could manifest in a variety of ways. Narrow escapes from accidents or life-threatening situations, supernatural provision and protection during times of crisis or hardship, a profound sense of God's loving presence and care even in the midst of tribulation, heightened spiritual discernment and an ability to avoid or overcome demonic attacks. Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will have an undeniable awareness that God's hand of protection is upon them in a profound and tangible way. This supernatural covering will be a vital part of their preservation during the tumultuous end times. 7. A High Degree of Righteousness and Purity the book of Revelations describes the 144,000 as those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. This suggests an extremely high level of sexual purity and moral integrity. Similarly, those who may be called to be part of the 144,000 will typically exhibit a deep commitment to personal holiness and righteousness. They will strive to live lives that are pleasing to God, avoiding sinful behaviors and temptations with vigilance. This purity of heart and life may also extend to other areas, such as unwavering integrity and honesty in all their dealings, freedom from addictions, unhealthy attachments, or ungodly influences, a strong aversion to lying, deception, or any form of unrighteousness, a lifestyle of humble submission to God's will and ways, Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will be known for their blameless character and their devotion to living in a manner that is wholly pleasing to the Lord. This level of righteousness is a crucial part of their divine calling and preparation for the end times. 6. A Unique Spiritual Gifting and Anointing The 144,000 are described as having the ability to sing a new song that only they can learn. This suggests they have been given a unique spiritual gifting and anointing that sets them apart. Similarly, those who may be part of the 144,000 often report experiencing supernatural spiritual gifts and anointings. This could manifest in a variety of ways. Heightened prophetic abilities, including visions, dreams, and words of knowledge a powerful anointing for evangelism, leading many to salvation. Profound gifts of teaching and preaching, with the ability to expound on deep biblical truths, miraculous healing powers, or the ability to operate in other supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. A profound mystical connection to the divine that enables them to enter into deep, intimate worship. Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will have a tangible sense of being set apart and empowered by God for a specific purpose. Their spiritual gifting and anointing will be a crucial part of their end times ministry and witness. 5. Membership in one of the 12 tribes of Israel The book of Revelation states that the 144,000 are from all the tribes of Israel, with 12,000 individuals being sealed from each of the 12 tribes. While the exact identity of these 12 tribes has been the subject of much debate, the implication is clear. Those who are part of the 144,000 will have some connection to the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. This could manifest in a variety of ways. Being of direct Jewish descent, with a clear lineage to one of the 12 tribes, experiencing a deep spiritual connection to Israel and the Jewish people, even if not of direct Jewish ancestry. Being grafted into the olive tree of Israel through faith in Jesus Christ, as described in Romans 11. Having a strong calling to support, bless and stand with the nation of Israel and the Jewish people.
Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will have a special bond with Israel and the Jewish people, reflecting the fact that they are part of God's chosen covenant people. This connection will be a vital part of their end times role and witness. 4. A profound encounter with the living God. The 144,000 are described as having the name of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the name of the Father written on their foreheads. This suggests they have experienced a profound, transformative encounter with the living God. Similarly, those who may be part of the 144,000 often report having had a life-changing encounter with the divine. This could manifest in a variety of ways. A dramatic conversion experience, where they surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ. Visions, dreams, or other supernatural encounters with God, Jesus, or angelic beings. A deep, abiding sense of God's tangible presence and glory in their lives. Supernatural experiences of God's love, power, and or holiness that left an indelible mark on their souls. Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will have a deeply personal, intimate knowledge of God that sets them apart. Their foreheads will bear the imprint of the divine, signifying their special relationship and calling. 3. A burning desire to serve and witness for Christ. The 144,000 are described as following the Lamb wherever He goes, suggesting an unwavering devotion and commitment to serving the Lord. Similarly, those who may be part of the 144,000 will typically exhibit a burning desire to serve God and witness for Christ. This could manifest in a variety of ways. A strong calling to evangelism, with a passion for sharing the gospel message. A desire to serve in full-time ministry, whether as a pastor, missionary, or in some other capacity. A commitment to living a life that is wholly devoted to God's purposes, even at great personal cost. A willingness to endure persecution, hardship, or even martyrdom for the sake of the kingdom. Ultimately, those who are part of the 144,000 will be known for their unwavering commitment to the Lord and their relentless pursuit of serving Him and advancing His kingdom. This total dedication will be a hallmark of their end times witness and ministry. 2. Supernatural Wisdom and Discernment In addition to the unique spiritual gifts and anointings mentioned earlier, those who may be part of the 144,000 often exhibit supernatural wisdom and discernment that sets them apart. The book of Revelation states that no lie was found in their mouths, they are blameless. This suggests an extraordinary level of spiritual insight and discernment that allows them to navigate the deceptions and temptations of the end times with uncompromising integrity. These individuals may demonstrate a profound understanding of biblical truth and the ability to expose false teachings or doctrines, heightened spiritual discernment that enables them to identify and resist demonic influences or attacks. Supernatural wisdom in counseling and guiding others, offering guidance that transcends human understanding. An anointing to interpret dreams, visions, and other prophetic revelations with clarity and accuracy. This supernatural wisdom and discernment will be a vital asset as the 144,000 fulfill their end times mission, equipping them to stand firm in the face of deception and to lead others to the truth. 1. A Supernatural Endurance and Resilience The Book of Revelations portrays the end times as a period of unprecedented tribulation and persecution Yet the 144,000 are described as those who will follow the Lamb wherever He goes, a testament to their unwavering faith and commitment. Similarly, those who may be part of the 144,000 often exhibit a supernatural endurance and resilience that sets them apart. They may demonstrate the ability to endure hardship, suffering, and even martyrdom without wavering in their faith. 
a supernatural strength and stamina that enables them to withstand physical, emotional and spiritual attacks. A deep well of inner peace, joy and hope that sustains them even in the midst of the most trying circumstances. A refusal to be shaken or discouraged, even in the face of intense opposition or adversity. This unwavering endurance and resilience will be a critical component of the 144,000's end times mission. As the world crumbles around them, they will stand firm, bearing witness to the power of God's love and the certainty of His promises. Ultimately, these nine signs, a deep sense of calling, supernatural protection, righteousness and purity, unique spiritual gifting, connection to Israel, profound encounters with God, a desire to serve Christ, supernatural wisdom and supernatural endurance, can provide valuable clues as to whether an individual may be part of the 144,000 chosen ones. However, it is important to remember that God's ways are often mysterious and not bound by our human understanding. The final determination of the 144,000 rests solely in the hands of the Almighty, and we must remain humble, watchful, and ready to fulfill whatever role He has for us in the unfolding of His end times plan.